state combined. An expanded school choice program means scholarships for more than a quarter million Florida families. What does it mean for our public school systems and your tax dollars? WEAR's Samantha Servant spent the last month researching the student enrollment and potential financial impact. She is in the studio with some insight. Just over 500 students who were in local public schools last year now have scholarships to private school. I spoke with one mom who's seen the benefits of both sides. A young Marine and baseball star, Landon, is Tammy Whalen's only child. I've seen it at early, early age. He was a very smart kid, and I wanted the best education for him. For nine years, that meant private school. In third grade, he was reading at a 10th grade level. When he hit fifth grade, he was in college level reading. Her family used a voucher, allowing them to choose what school would best fit Landon, regardless of the price tag. Last year, new legislation eliminated income restrictions for the program, a move that boosted private school enrollment. Data from Step Up for Students shows roughly 185,000 scholarships last school year. This year, more than 291,000. In Northwest Florida, we know after the program expanded, our area saw more than 2,200 new scholarships. In the state of Florida, 70% of voucher students had never set foot in a traditional public school. Um, so those aren't really students who are opting out of leaving our public schools. There are students who have never been there to begin with. That doesn't mean the impact on our public school systems is non-existent. Escambia County Superintendent Keith Leonard says enrollment is down. What we're seeing is not necessarily related to vouchers, it's related to movement. We're not looking for excuses, we're not looking for reasons, we're just looking to compete. He says losing more than 1,500 students in the last five years adds up. You do lose uh, what we call FTE, other people would say money, uh, when our FTE goes down. When our student population goes down, so does our funding. While we can't put a number on local losses, we can tell you school choice currently costs billions, more than 70% of scholarships coming from taxpayers' pockets, and more families are using it each year. Eventually, will this lead to less funding for each individual student? And resources are finite, finite, so we either have options to increase taxes or to lower the amount of money that each student gets. Taxes aside, any potential decrease in funding isn't something the Waylands will have to worry about. Landon graduates next year. I gave him the opportunity to take either private or technical high school. He is a junior now. It's it's been difficult because he had a culture shock. He's not used to the very big schools. At the end of the day, school choice is about student success. That's something leaders across all kinds of schools agree on. So we're doing everything we can day in and day out to provide students to have success, not just in school, but more importantly, success in life. And we wanted to find out what local parents feel about the vouchers and school systems. So we put up a poll just about a week and a half ago asking you, are you taking advantage of the expanded school voucher program? As of an hour ago, about 42% of you said, yes, my student is in private school and we're satisfied. Just over a third said their kids are content in public school. And about a quarter of the people who responded to the poll said they aren't using the program now, but want to in the future. In the studio, I'm Samantha Serban.